It's going great. It's going great. Uh, I'm clear to throw standing up next week. I'm excited to really zip it around and get off that one knee. Yeah, I haven't spoken to them uh, here at the Combine yet, um, but, you know, first and foremost, I want to come in and learn, be a sponge from any and everyone. Uh, you know, that be vets, coaches, uh, on the field and off the field, you know, how to be a pro. That's the first thing I want to do. And then just in, embark my, um, you know, my, my character and uh, the person that I am, uh, building trust around the, the whole organization. Um, you know, I felt like in 2021, we had a good offense as well. Uh, but, you know, just continuing to gel and have that chemistry that, that following year, uh, we did a lot of extra work. You know, any time that we had the opportunity to get together, whether that be on the field or off the field, you know, we did that, and that showed on the field. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, start, you know, starting with attitude. Um, I'm extremely blessed to be here. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, something I've dreamed of, you know, since a kid. Uh, so, you know, continuing to control what I can control, uh, keep my confidence as well. Um, but, you know, that mental side of the game, elevating that mental side of the game however I can, uh, continue to rehab, finally being able to do total body workouts um, and put some weight on that leg. Uh, so um, I'm excited to get back to throwing next week. Nah, nah, you can't say that now. You still got, you still got OG T, T. Martin, you still got OG Peyton Manning. Uh, those are two of my mentors, so um, you know I'll come third to them. Hey, have you met with the Raiders, yes, met the Raiders. Yeah, met, went great, went great. Um, you know, we had a lot of conversations. Um, you know, just about getting to know me, and then uh, talking ball. Um, I had a great time. What has been just kind of your overall message? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, first and foremost, my leadership. Uh, you know, connecting with everyone in the building, gaining that trust, and knowing how to communicate with any and everyone. Uh, there and then just learning. Like I said, those are the, the biggest parts. Uh, the football comes comes uh, after that. What's the biggest question about your game since you Oh yeah, um, you know, just control the offense. You know, as you can see on film, a lot of times I make a lot of a lot of protection calls, uh, make a lot of checks at the line. You can see run to pass, pass to run, um, and then I can make every throw. The the way that we run our offense, the the wide splits, those are all grown men throws. Like I'm not throwing any. Five yard outs. I'm throwing big boy balls. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, everybody, everybody can throw the ball. Um, you know, everybody's a, a great quarterback. You know, uh, but you know, my consistency and my accuracy, as you can see on film, you know, I was 60, completed 69 percent of my passes. So, I continue to be accurate and get the playmakers the ball. That's the main goal. Um, you know, anything that I ever, you know, when I ask him, he's going to, you know, give me a, a great answer. He always does. He's a great football mind and a great person as well. Um, so I remember asking him and Eli, you know, what, what are some steps that you took to, um, you know, get your teammates to have that same hunger and drive as you do for the love of the process? Uh, and they gave me some, some great answers. I won't give the, give the secret sauce out, but uh, they gave me some great answers, and I, I applied those, and, and it helped us out this season. Yes, yes, it did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'd be huge. You know, um, learning from Dak, who's a great quarterback, and watching him for a very long time. Um, love, love a lot of the things that he does, you know, in his game. Um, but that cerebral side is huge. And, uh, you know, like I said, I want to be a sponge when I come in. I want to learn from any and everybody, however I can. Mm -hmm. uh, I expect to be healthy 100% uh, around camp time. So. Huge, huge. I spend, I spend countless hours, you know, in the facility or at home. Me and my roommate Joe Milton spend a lot of time watching film. Uh, I spend a lot of time watching film with coaches by myself. Uh, my preparation is, is ridiculous. If I sat here and, and told you my my whole weekly process, we ran out of time. But uh, you know, I'm, I'm a huge advocate on uh, preparation. I want to be prepared for any and every situation. You mentioned that you'll still be throwing and stationary next week. Yeah, next week. Uh, there probably is, but you know I, I wouldn't want to take a chance. You know I would rather my knee be 100%. You know where I want it to be, so that I can have you know a long career. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, yeah, spent some time with them. Um, you know, great organization. Uh, you know, great people, great football minds. Uh, we really just got a get to know me um, type of situation and, uh, you know, talked a little ball, but, you know, it was, it was a great process. Did you have a existing relationship with Cody Burns already? Yeah, he was at Tennessee. Um, and spent a lot of time with him. He was telling me about his quarterback days uh, at Auburn. <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, he's, he's, a great, he's a great guy and a great football mind as well. Um, he implemented a lot, of, a lot of good plays for us at Tennessee that, uh, you know, worked in our favor. What do you make of that knock on the New Orleans sort of pipeline that you see going through? Yeah, it'd be cool. It's, it's a cool, cool pipeline. Um, I have a, a you know, c communication with every one of those guys. Um, and, uh, you know, I had dinner with Alante Taylor. Last week, uh, he came out to, to California and he was working out. So I came up and had dinner with him. We, we talked about some of the things that he encounters down there in New Orleans. Yeah, no, I haven't met with him uh, here at the Combine. Um, and I think that'd be huge, um, you know, just to see, you know, how he has progressed through his career uh, is amazing. And, you know, you never can stay the same. You're either going to get better or you're going to get worse. And, you know, he's made it, he's made it uh, you know, clear that he's, he's much better. And, uh, you know, I want to I wanna, uh, continue to excel through my career exactly how he did. Um, that 2021 defense from Georgia was, uh, was pretty dominant. Uh, I remember talking about N'Kobe Dean, how he was getting sideline to sideline. He was tough. And then uh, Trayvon Walker, I mean, he's a monster as well. No, I haven't. Yeah. I mean, I can't, I can't help that defenders can't guard my receivers. <laughs> so my job is to get them the ball. And yeah, OK, yeah. So a lot of these questions about one-sided reads and stuff, we have pure progression routes. Um, it's not my fault. My first read is getting open. Um, but we have um, you know, pre-snap looks, one high, two high, which side, double footwork combo. Um, you know, we have uh, pure progression with an alert, with an option. Uh, so, you know, any of these, these questions, you know, they're, they're cool and all, but if you really dig into our offense and actually watch the film, then you would understand, you know, that it's, it's, it's elevated to a whole other level. And how fast that we're going, I have to process a lot of information at the same time and communicate with any, everyone. So. Yeah. Yeah, they, they want to know, you know, what we do. So, um, you know, really breaking that down to them. And um, you know, communicating what responsibilities I have at the line of scrimmage, changing protections, vo uh, being very vocal, uh, talking in the huddle sometimes. Also, going under center. We went under center a lot this year. I even threw a pass from under center this year. So um, you know, just just being able to go in there and talk balls, which I love to do, um, and, and show how cerebral I am, uh, has been great. Say it again. No, no. Um, how, how fast I'm recovering, you know, I, I really need to slow myself down some, but um, I'm, I'm excited to uh, get back to a better me, you know, much better than, than what I've been playing. Are, are there any other, you know, maybe quarterbacks or other positions or players who, uh, you know, have had similar experiences to yours? Mm -hmm. you look at as an inspiration? Yeah, um, you know, always, always my big bro, Kenan Allen. I grew up around Kenan. Uh, my dad used to train him. And uh, when he was in high school, him and his brother and his cousin, Maurice Harris, um, and just him reaching out to me, you know, telling me, hey, it's going to be all right. Just keep your head up. Um, also, um, Alvin Kamara hit me up. Uh, that's big bro as well. Um, you know, just going through, you know, just, just different things on how to keep my mental, you know, where it needs to be. Yeah, they, they like I said, like, we, we play with a chip on our shoulder at Tennessee. So, um, you know, we get a lot of disrespect. So we want to make it clear that we're going to come out and dominate uh, day in and day out. And, uh, you know, the work that we put in has, has shown. Uh, they, they catch countless amounts of, of jugs throughout the week. I'll probably say maybe 3,000 balls a week. Um, and and that's, that's just jugs alone. That's not catching with me and Joe, which we're throwing um, you know, three times a week at the least. Uh, so just continuing to gel and continuing to uh, have that chemistry um, and the work that they put in, it showed on film and it showed this past year in our season. Yeah, um, I thought we were going to score a little bit more the way we started. Uh, we had a couple of mishaps, gave them a free touchdown, down close in the, uh, you know, in their uh, in their end zone. 
I fumbled the ball, so they scored. But, um, you know, I really just wanted to win the ball game. That's what I'm here to do. Um, keep every moment the same. Uh, it might be, you know, a big game, but, you know, every game is we're going to approach it the same way, whether we're playing the best team in the nation or the worst team in the nation. And it was also my father's birthday, so I had to get my dad a win for his birthday. No, I have just an informal meeting, not a formal. Yes, I have. Uh, no, I got a lot of those those questions. You can be better than your father when you get older, uh, from a young age. And I always told him, I'm be way better than my dad. But uh, you know, we still we're still a very competitive family. My little brother coming up, we still have a, a quarterback competition. You know, all the time. Whenever I go back home, accuracy competitions and uh, really competitive family. My mom and sister, if they can play quarterback, they play as well. Uh, it didn't take too long. Uh, I threw, I threw six touchdowns. We, we go by touchdowns. So how many touchdowns you throw in the game? I threw six touchdowns my junior year um, in round one that game. So seven touchdowns. My brother threw seven in round one one game. So now he holds the record, and now he has to beat my record in college, which is which is five. Uh, so yeah. How important is that? How Alabama to you, your team, your program? Yeah, it was huge. You know, for not just just us, but uh, for the community, for Knoxville for Vol Nation, uh, just to let everybody know that we're back. And uh, back and better than, than ever, for sure. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing what they do this year coming up with, with Joe at the at the room. And um, you know, they got some, some pieces, so I'm excited. Yeah. Yeah. Um, myself, I have to slow myself down a little bit. But um, you know, Doc is, is telling me, you know, he's, uh, he's very proud of how hard I've worked to get my quad strength and, and quad girth back to um, you know, where it is now. Um, especially from, from where it started. I went from you know, being on crutches for six weeks to you know, walking the, the next week that I got off my crutches uh, to being able to do you know, one leg, sit to stands. So um, you know, I'm excited to, to really get back to putting a lot of weight on my lower body. Um, I'm really top heavy right now. So when I can finally put that weight back on my lower body, I can get to where I want to be weight wise, especially today I was 219. That's usually my, my regular weight um, if I wasn't working out or, or doing anything crazy. So. Yeah, I met with them already. Yeah, formal. Yeah, 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 of course, of course. I mean, if you're a football mind, you see some something working, you're going to you know, immediately click like, hey, how do you do this? So, um, you know, everybody's just intrigued on how we run our offense. Um, and and it's, it's a cool thing. If you ever are in our offense, um, then you're going to love it. So. I tell them, you know, I tell them, you know, how we how we do certain things. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's effective uh, in, in what we do. Could it translate to the to the NFL? Some of it can. So, um, yeah. Say it again. Super excited, super excited. Um, that's my right hand man. So uh, we talked about that moment, you know, for a very long time uh, from 2021 when he was a starter. You know, I communicated to him, hey, it doesn't matter who's in there. Let's just make sure we win ball games. And um, that's how we, you know, just became such close friends and uh, such great competitors as well. Day in and day out, me and Joe push each other to be better. Yeah, uh, Peyton's one of my mentors. I talk to him before and after every game. Um, he is, you know, just uh, extremely cerebral on the football side and, and great guy as well. Um, whether, whether that comes from leadership advice to football advice. Mm -hmm. um, first and foremost, you know, got to make a, a connection with everyone in the building, uh, gain that trust, and show you know my personality and my character. Um, they know any any of my teammates that I've played with and any of my friends. They know that. They can come to me for any and everything, um, you know, no matter when it is. Uh, so gaining that trust first before the ball is even rolled out was something that, um, you know, I made an emphasis on. Uh, whether, you know, we're running, running sprints or something, I'm just encouraging guys um, to, you know, actually moving to that lead from the front. Um, and, you know, like I said, making those connections, making sure that I know how to communicate to, with this guy differently from this guy. So, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm all of the above. Um, you know, any, anything. If you if you need anything from me, you know, they can come to me. I'm a great friend, and, and I think that that translates to just being a great teammate. Um, 
many times uh, throughout the throughout the, the season. You know, we're, we're joking and laughing, but when it's time to get down to business, they know I mean business, and uh, that's that's something that that's helped us. Uh, just from a leadership standpoint, the whole leadership council and the whole captains uh, committee at Tennessee, you know, has made a huge emphasis on um, you know leading at, from the from the player side.